A couple hundred years ago in the antebellum South, there were lots of reasons to vote Democrat. Economic reasons, political reasons, and a majority of the people that voted Democrat were concerned with states' rights. That's a legit reason that they would have voted Democrat. Many God-fearing people who loved the Lord, they were committed to righteousness and justice, they were good citizens, they voted Democrat. But at the same time, that party at that time represented the platform of slavery. So maybe a person would say, well, I'm not for slavery, but I'm for all these other things, the economics and this and that and the other. But by voting Democrat, they continued the institution of slavery in America. Today, the Democrat Party has a similar problem. For all the other things it might represent, all the other platforms and all the other positions, it's the champion of abortion. The Democrat Party celebrates abortion. They defend abortion. And they fight for it. The same way that the South 200 years ago fought for slavery. And we can look back with hindsight and rightfully judge the people who voted for the Democrat Party that they were wrong. Whatever other reasons they might have had to vote Democrat at that time, they were wrong to do so because they were also voting to uphold slavery. Well, today, the Democrat Party represents the modern-day version of slavery. It's the biggest atrocity of our time, just like slavery was the biggest atrocity of that time. Don't believe me? Look at the Holocaust. Six million Jews killed in six years. We have a million babies every year slaughtered through abortion. A million a year. Every six years we repeat the Holocaust. That's 3,000 a day. It's the biggest issue of our time. I'm not saying be a single issue voter. There's lots to care about. There's lots to vote about. But abortion has to be at the top of that list. A vote for a Democrat is a vote for abortion. Plain and simple. They may represent all the other stuff you like. You might be a socialist. You might be all about that big government. But if you vote for a Democrat, for the Senate, for the Congress, for whatever position, including president, you're voting for abortion. But Bruce, Trump is racist. I'll tell you what's racist. Planned Parenthood. It was founded by Margaret Sanger, an avowed racist. And her plan, her stated goal, was to eliminate the black population. She viewed African Americans as a lesser, inferior race, and that the Caucasian white race was superior. And she's done a pretty good job with trying to eliminate the black population. Planned Parenthood affects the African American community more harshly than any other. And our taxpayer dollars goes to fund this place that sells baby body parts on the black market for cash. So when you vote Democrat, you're voting for that. You might really like this one candidate, and you might really hate Trump. By the way, I don't like Trump, and I know I just lost half my audience. The last video I did on Facebook was an anti-Trump video. So trust me, I'm not trying to support that. I'm not a Republican. I don't care if you vote Republican. I'm a Christian. I don't even care if you're a Christian. I want you to be one. I want you to know the Lord and His love for you. But my point is, all of us, atheist or Christian or whatever, can see an atrocity. I'm not better than anybody. I'm probably worse than all of you watching this video. I really mean that. But for the grace of God, am I even here? But I can see a glaring evil right in front of me, and it's called abortion. When we vote for a Democrat, we're voting to uphold doctors jabbing scissors into the skull of a baby and suctioning out her brains. Babies can feel pain. They have a heartbeat. They're a unique human person. We know that. Science has already proven this. We don't have to have that debate. If you believe in abortion and that's your thing, we need to have a long conversation, but that's not today's video. But we know that it's wrong the same way that they knew that slavery was wrong. But it was convenient. It supported the economy. And people say, well, are you telling me that, that the baby should be born into poverty? It's better for them to be killed. Same mentality they had with slavery. People would say, well, what do you want me to do? Just free all the slaves and then what? They don't have any money and property. What are they going to do? It's better for them on the plantation. We've got so many parallels. My goal today is just to point out those parallels. I'm not trying to swing the vote. I don't care if you vote Trump. That's not my main point. There's a ton of other Senate and, and other congressional races up for grabs anyway. But when you vote Democrat, you're voting abortion. Be clear on that. That is what you're supporting. And for all the other good that the Democrat Party may or may not do, if you're okay with abortion, that's, that's on you. But I'm not okay with that. 
And I'm here to change your mind. Every time I do a video like this, I change someone's mind. I wouldn't do these otherwise. Trust me, I don't want all the hate that's going to come down in the comments. I'm almost picturing exactly what people are going to say. I know I'm going to get all the backlash. But woe to me if I don't speak up. I will be a voice for the voiceless. I'll defend the defenseless. I'll speak up for the most vulnerable in our society, which is the unborn. And they're not protected right now. But I'm going to fight for that. And I think once this is all over and abortion is done and gone with, we're going to look back the same way that we look back on slavery. And we're going to be appalled at that dark chapter of our history. We're going to look back and say, how barbaric could we be? How could we let this happen? And it happens like this. You say, well, I hate Trump, so I have to vote Democrat. Or, you know, I don't like abortion, but all the other things. How could we dare say that? That's like someone saying, well, I don't like slavery, but... No, dude. There is no but. Abortion is the biggest issue of our time, and we have to eliminate it. And I just want you on the right side of history. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. I'm just here to reason with you. And I think I can change a few people's minds today. And I love you. And I thank you for listening.